outside. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're the riddles. Come see our tiny house. <laughs> oh, that was that was fantastic. Here, let's try it again. <laughs> Go back again. Hi, we're the riddles. Come see our tiny house. You built like this whole house though, right? Yeah, yeah, from, from, uh, it started from us just drawing, just drawing, 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 watching every single video we possibly could, and then we laid it out on the yard, like with two by fours and stuff, and said, can we do this? Can we live in this space? Can we actually fit five of us, three crazy kids in a small space like this? And we went, we actually stayed at a tiny house here on this exact lot. Uh, it was a smaller one, it was eight by, 28 and we knew it was tight but we were like you know this is nice but it's not quite there and we said that if we were ever going to do this it has to be a 10 footer there's no way we could do the eight foot and just with us and, and this, this space that we knew we needed and with the kids we, we we had an idea how we wanted to do it yeah you needed something bigger i mean you have what three kids under three <laughs> yes we have three toddlers uh, Zion is three, <laughs> Judah is two, and Angel thinks she's funny. She's one year old. One years. Hi, say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so we knew that this lifestyle might not be for everybody, but we knew it could be for us. And we also knew that us building this ourselves, that we can make every inch count and that we could create something that would be comfortable not just for us but for the children too especially since they're all small we knew we could pull this off and that's where the loft came in everything they want up there their own access and it can just be a place for them we also created the living rooms with the kids in mind as well so they didn't just have their little loft but they would have this portion of the downstairs as well uh, with the couch that pulls out into a queen size bed for them to sleep on and to kind of jump around on and play around on. Their TV is there. And um, this is where nap time happens. So like what was like the design kind of feel that you were thinking, Amanda, like farmhouse? Yeah, or? we were going for the modern farmhouse, rustic type of feel. And my husband did an amazing job of pulling that off for me. Um, so how long did it take you guys to build this? Right, so we were in the process of selling our house and it took us five months to complete um, after we got the trailer to our house from Lancaster, we had somebody custom make it for us just so it could fit the weight of the whole house on it. Um, we had it sent down to our house and it took five months for Andrew and his helpers to just kind of get the whole thing done. So, really, And then in, the, in January, we sold our house and that's when we moved here. Right? Wow, so you were selling your house and building a new house. That must have been really stressful. <laughs> yes, it was absolutely crazy. Me and the three babies, Daddy, he would be outside working on the house. We would have um, people who wanted to walk through our old house, so we'd have to get the kids out, you know, outside or get them in the van, and we have to hurry up and clean the house. So it was really crazy. So. Funny thing is, when I'd be outside working on the house, I was constantly needing materials. And every time I would stop working, nothing would get done. So Amanda would take all three kids, put them in the minivan, and go to Lowe's and Home Depot and stack all sorts of lumber and plywood on top of the roof. 
shove it inside all the, all the interior siding, the exterior siding, and the guys would have to help her strap it on the roof and whatnot. I mean, I truly could not have gotten anything done without her doing that, and she's a real trooper for that. But it was all worth so it. So you did it, yeah? Yeah, it was all worth it because honestly, <clears throat> it was it's ours. Like we have something that's ours, and we still wake up every morning and we're we're like you know there's nowhere else we'd rather be. Like I said, yeah. every single inch is intentional with exactly what we need. And they call it their big house. <laughs> this is the big house. <laughs> so my husband asked me <laughs> um, a few months before we uh, began building our tiny house. Um, he said, you know, we could either get a bigger house, a bigger space, which would mean a, a larger mortgage, or we could downsize, and that's when he started showing me the tiny houses, and um, it would be a smaller space, but the upside would be that he would be able to be here more often with us, with the family, and um, help raising the kids. So for us, uh, that was a no-brainer, and I definitely wouldn't change that for the world. That's great, you got our own life. Yeah, this has never happened, so this is actually like really <laughs> deceiving. We're gonna leave people into thinking we got this. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah, I still her line, I'm sorry. I had my ship left walls, which I really wanted. We had to get um, the appliances, we had to get custom made. Um, we didn't get them for some way. So that's a lie. <laughs> we had to get special sizes. They still have the... What was this right here called? You take this one Roman numerals? What is it called now? What's cool about it? <laughs> well, they're from an old salt mine. Oh. Okay, so that's what's cool about them. Sure. <laughs> uh, what, what was the question again? <laughs> This is a, what is this again? <laughs> Corrugated metal. Corrugated metal. And this is used for roofing. Right. So it's used for roofing. So that's cool for some reason. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these, these cabinets are all um, custom. These are custom made. The cabinets are custom made. We were trying to go for the modern farmhouse rustic look in this house. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You were. Okay, I was. We got this at the from the Home Depot. And so you're making me laugh. I can't it, it was this oh. house is loosely based on that one. What was the question again? <laughs> Honestly, when it pulls down to it, she's my best friend, and there's no one else I'd rather do this with. <laughs> and cut. We hope you enjoyed our little video. If you have any questions, make sure you ask us in the comments, and we'll make sure we answer it in our next video.